We are here with Dr. Kelly Lemons, a recent winner of the three-minute thesis competition hosted by the Office of Graduate Professional Studies. Kelly, first question. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with your idea and your presentation? Well, my idea was based, of course, on my dissertation. So I, I tried to surmise my dissertation in three minutes, which was difficult. Um, and although I didn't go over the methodology in depth and I didn't actually cover all of my results, I pulled out the main methodology and my main results so that I could really hit some, some big points in those three minutes. The way I came up with the presentation style was merely by practic practicing it over and over again. Um, and I really wanted to put it in a story format. So I, I looked at previous other three minute thesis uh, competitions that have been recorded and put on YouTube. And I found two or three that I really liked and I noticed that they were really put in kind of a storybook fashion with bookends. They had an introduction that related to the audience they gave their three minutes of methodology, results, conclusions, and then they closed their three minutes relating that story back to the audience. So it really gave a personal touch, and those are the ones that I enjoyed the most, and so that's what I try to do with mine as well. What are some tips you would give someone trying to present the research in layman's terms? The tips I would give someone is to practice. The only way to know what your research or what research doesn't translate to other people is to practice over and over again. I was doing my research for five years and become so accustomed to the vocabulary and the vernacular that I thought that everyone knew what I was talking about. So when I'd rehearse what I was going to say to other people, they would often be like, wait a second, I didn't understand this vocabulary term. So then I'd have to revise it and, and I would present the, the three minutes again to someone who wasn't familiar with my research so that they could tell me either whether they understood or if they didn't and kind of help me to elaborate. Um, so that's how I was able to translate it into layman's terms, was basically practicing. Uh, luckily, I grew up uh, it, as, in the LDS Church as a Mormon, and am Mormon, and so I grew up practicing talks all the time, giving talks in church, and uh, that really translated into being able to prepare for this three minutes because I was used to practicing, used to delivering a talk, and so I continued to practice over and over again these three minutes, rehearsed it on my way even to the competition, rehearsed it in my mind, during the competition while other students were going, unfortunately, I don't even know what they talked about, actually, um, because I was, I was intent on, on delivering mine with precise, uh, to the second uh, precision, I guess. So, uh, yeah, practice, practice, practice. And if English isn't your second, or if English is your second language, then really practice on enunciating, make sure that you are audible, people can understand you, uh, so that you can really deliver a succinct three minutes. How was your overall experience in the three-minute thesis competition? Uh, the experience was actually, it was quite fun. Uh, once you've been through defending your proposal, defending your methodology to a committee, which is rigorous and daunting and, and exhausting, to be able to give your thesis or dissertation in three minutes is actually quite enjoyable because you don't have to defend your methods, you don't have to defend your conclusions. Everyone basically takes you at your word and they enjoy what you're saying and so it was actually a very refreshing experience to talk about it in three minutes and for people to understand what I was saying and for no one to be coming up to me afterwards and saying, well, actually your statistics would show X and Y rather than, you know, Z and, and W. So I, I was grateful for the opportunity to finally be taken at my word for my research and it was, it was quite enjoyable. So I would recommend uh, everyone, if, they, if they're in the position to do it, to, to go ahead and, and compete because it's, it's actually quite fun to do.